What it do, friends? Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Danette. I make videos about SUV traveling and entrepreneurship. If that is something that interests you, stay tuned. Today, we'll be talking about how I plan my traveling. So I thought I'd share um, five ways that I plan my travel. Um, it's kind of by the seat of my plans, but I have a general plan. Um, first of all, I know that I want to get off road um, a little bit, but I'm not quite ready for that. Um, first of all, I need the tires for it. But for right now, while I am on the highway, I do want to see nice things. So the first tool that I use is a book called uh, Guide to Scenic Highways and Byways from the National Geographic. So it has several different, like for each state, for each region, actually, it has several different scenic highways and byways that you can go through. And it will describe to you um, the different things to see on that specific highway things that you you know you get out take pictures and all that good stuff i have already done one which was the um creole nature trail and it was really nice um i wish that i would have gone there earlier in the morning because especially being a solo female i was more worried about making sure that i got back to town um in a good amount of time before the sun went down uh, so that I could find somewhere to sleep and all that good stuff. But it was a very beautiful drive. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, um, check out my video on Saturday, but also stay to the end of the video and I will show you a preview. So the second way that um, I plan my trip is with the open road book and it will also show you it it has the 50 best road trips in the USA so I'll... this one is the open road and it kind of does the same thing it'll give you an overview by region of what you have to look forward to and what you um what you're near which way you want to go and all that good stuff and then once you are there this one will actually you know give you um kind of a, a reference guide of what the best things to do. And then I'll give it a breakdown by days, how you wanna, how you can travel, which I thought was really nice. If you're someone who needs something like that, which once I get on this, I probably, <laughs> probably will actually help me a lot, but it'll help you plan. You know, give you, gives you little advice on uh, what to do, what to see, hike, tour, even lodging. It gives you advice on that. So this particular one is a two-week trip. And it even gives you a playlist and podcast to listen to. So the third tool that I use is actually the 2021 Road Atlas. And it, I kind of basically use it as a reference and also um, a memory keeper because what I will do once I'm somewhere, however long I stay, I will actually highlight it and mark the dates that I've stayed there just as a memory keeper. Um, but I also reference it against the other two books so that I can see where it is that I'm going so that I make sure, um, especially car camping, I feel like it's safer if I stay in a big city. So I'm just trying to kind of gauge where the big cities are so that I can um, make sure that I keep myself safe. We're on number four, four. I can count, I swear, <laughs> I swear. And number four is I Overlander. So I use I Overlander, so four and five. I use I Overlander and free campsites um, to see where I can safely uh, lay my head down at night because I love me some sleep. 
and I want to make sure that I stay safe. Uh, so, and they've been working out pretty good. Um, I used them this past trip in Lake Charles and I didn't have any issues. I actually, I actually stayed at the casino the four nights that I stayed in town. Um, I didn't have any issues. It was pretty safe. No one bothered me. I actually went into the casino several times, took a little bird bath, no issues. Uh, so those are the five things that I use and I reference to kind of make my next trip. So I have a general path that I'm going right now. I'm going to see family, um, in Alabama, Florida, Georgia. So kind of along the way, this is how I'm planning like stops before I get there, which after now I'm in New Orleans, I'll be going straight to Panama City where my cousin is beach time but unfortunately now it's like cool outside but it's good weather for it still still good weather for the beach just not to get ambushed I wasn't gonna do anyway but um and then some a bonus uh book that I use um well that I will use when I am ready um to start staying in state parks and all of that is the National Geographic Guide to State Parks and it tells you by state, also by region, the best state parks to stay in and some information about those and the things that you can see, things that you can do. Um, it's got great information. Um, I enjoy looking over it. Um, I'm not quite staying in state parks quite yet because I am working while I'm on the road. So once I get a little more money under me where I can sit for a little while, then I will most likely refer to that first so that I can go visit some state parks. So, and then a couple of, I don't know, I guess, duh, um, tools is Google Maps and Waze. Um, I use Waze as a backup for Google Maps because my Google Maps, her name is Patricia. And sometimes Patricia be tripping. Okay. So I call Brad, who is my Waze Maps. And I'll be like, Brad, can you please help Patricia out? Because I'm about to smack her. We're going to fight. So, but Patricia is my main uh, GPS. And she pretty much gets me to where I need to go. But every once in a while, I don't know if she gets tired, she gets aggravated, she just don't feel like doing her job. But I have to call on Brad and be like, I need you to come replace her. So those are the tools that I use to get around, to plan my trip so that I know what I'm looking to do. Um, and then once I'm in the city, I'm, I'm fortunate. I feel like I'm fortunate to be door dashing, so it lets me see a little bit more of the city and I can decide on different things to do. Um, but also it, it's kind of stressful because you got to find somewhere safe to door dash. Um, cause I'm not trying to be door dashing like everywhere. So, but I haven't had any issues up until this point, honestly. Um, and I used it when I, I started doing it when I was in Dallas. I've been door dashing since Houston, but, um, I also did it in, uh, Dallas. No problems. Did it through Lake Charles. No problem. Um, so if you are someone who is wanting to get out on the road and you're like, well, I don't necessarily have a huge savings. I don't have a huge savings. DoorDash. You can do it anywhere. Um, just find kind of the safest place you can to DoorDash. I only DoorDash during the day. I will do it like anywhere from 10, 11 in the morning till about 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Whatever I make is what I make. And I really don't need a whole lot. And I can put most of that away. So that I make sure that the bills that I do have, I can pay those. Um, so, yeah, consider that uh, 
as an idea if you just you're just really ready to get out and you want to travel because that's my situation I just I was able to get what I needed to get through my massage business at home making um, more money a little quicker um, but then once I decided once I got all that together it was just time to go it was just time to go so I hope you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe if you did I got off on a little tangent there but that's okay um, I will insert a preview of Lake Charles here and the full video will be out Saturday all right deuce Okay. Good morning. So, first night, parking lot camping. what it do friends welcome back to my channel if you are new what it do friends welcome back maybe it's the daiquiris what it do friends welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome i am danette i make video <laughs> shit what it do friends <laughs> shit. okay 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 they were all on sale at some point um i think a couple of them were actually only maybe ten dollars I think this one was 10. I'm pretty sure this one was 10. But there are several books that you can get if you're interested in something like this. Um, or you can um, look it up on the internet and wing it. But um, this is a fun way to travel, I think, to just not be on the main highway all the time and see some other things. <laughs> 